13.2, we're going to learn the chemistry of rusting and going to see what kind of factors are we going to speed up rusting. So for chemistry of rusting, you should know that it is a slow, complex process. That means it involves many, many steps and in the process, it takes a long time in order to, find, to have the final product. So uh, the very first step okay, of the rusting, okay, it will be iron losing electron. So it all begins okay when iron lose two electrons and then it become Fe2 plus. So the first product that you have, okay, it will be Fe2 plus. And where are the electrons go? The electrons will then absorbed by the water and oxygen. If you still remember, the condition is in the presence of oxygen and water. That is the necessary condition for rusting to occur so the electron after they lose it from the iron it will be absorbed or okay, it will be taken up by the oxygen and water and then they will form hydroxide that will be the second product so afterwards okay these two will then combine these two will then combine okay, and then they will form feoh bracket 2 next this iron hydroxide iron 2 hydroxide will further react with the oxygen and water and it will further develop iron 3 hydroxide to balance this one okay i recommend you to remember four because we don't have much equations with a coefficient of four after you know this one is four then the balancing will be much easier for you to do okay so after this one formed it will further react but luckily, you don't need to know, okay? After they further react, they will further react to form iron 3 hydroxide. Iron 3 hydroxide, okay? So, uh, this will be the final product, okay, for a rust. The brown, reddish brown substance that we see, actually, it is hydrated iron 3 oxide. So, I'm going to put them once again, okay? First, it will be iron losing 2 electrons. And then the electron will then be absorbed by the water and oxygen. They will then become hydroxide. And then afterward, this hydroxide and the uh, iron 2 iron will combine to form iron 2 hydroxide. And the iron 2 hydroxide will then combine with the water and oxygen to form iron 3 hydroxide so memorize this one by 4 and then the iron 3 hydroxide will further react to give iron 3 hydrated iron 3 oxide so the name for this one is hydrated because this one with water okay so hydrated 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 iron 3 oxide okay, why this one is iron 3 okay if you remember fe3 plus o2 minus after they cross over then they will have fe2 o3 so this one okay is the chemical name of the rust then what you need to remember okay very important one okay will be first equation you should know that iron in the first stage they will lose two electrons and form iron to iron that is the very third thing you have to remember okay and then afterwards okay for the rest i think it is not that important most important one it will be the overall equation overall equation is fe plus oxygen plus water and then become fe2o3 dot nh2o so this equation is very very important again okay i want you to remember four for this if you remember four for this okay for the rest of them then it will be easier for you to do balance because you will remember four three two n and then two okay so in a sequence of four three two one things like that okay so will be four fe plus three o two two n h two o and then two hydrated iron 3 oxide so again the name for this one okay is hydrated iron 2 3 oxide so the color of it is reddish brown solid and that is the rust 
Okay, so amount all the, all of these. Okay, remember the first equation you have to remember is this one. Very important. The second one that you must remember is the overall equation. That means this one. Okay, so most of the time you will be asked for these two equations only. For the one in the middle, okay, if you want to count five double stars, okay, please work hard on that. Okay, but normally I didn't see that they have any reaction for that. Uh, any test on this, okay? So I'll uh, find I find this diagram over here in the website. Okay, I think this one is quite nice. So first of all, you find the Fe. So the Fe first step, they're gonna lose the electrons. After they lose the electrons, they will then become Fe two plus, right? So the electron, where will they go? The electron will then mix with the water and the oxygen. So the oxygen, water, electron, they combine to form hydroxide. They combine to form hydroxide. Okay, so uh, this one is weird. Okay, so they combine to form hydroxide. Okay, so after the hydroxide, they will mix with the Fe2+. So you see two arrows combined together, they form iron 2 hydroxide. Iron 2 hydroxide, then they will react with to form iron 3 hydroxide. And then further react, they will give this rust. But just one thing have to modify it, okay? Remember the rust, okay? Our syllabus, okay? We are talking about iron three, hydro, uh, iron three oxide, okay? And then with n x two O n is a variable. That means it can be different number, whole number, a uh, whole number, or uh, n, okay? Will be all right. Maybe one, maybe two, and things like that. Okay? So this one, okay, is. What we need to do, learn, okay, about the chemistry of rusting, okay. So, uh, common question that will be asked, okay. So you have to pay attention to the question words, okay. When they ask about overall equation, we are talking about this one, four, three, two, n, and then you got two. Okay, hopefully you remember this already. Okay, and then what is the chemical formula of rust? Okay, that means we need the symbol. So for this one, it will be Fe2O3 and H2O. That is the formula. The name or name the rust, chemical name of the rust, that will be hydrated. Remember, this word is very important. Iron 3 oxide. Okay, so this is Fe three plus. So what is color of the rust? Okay, the color of that. Okay, it will be reddish brown. Okay, I try to use a brown one, reddish brown solid. Okay, so the color only. So you can say reddish brown would be all right. Okay, but actually it's a solid. Okay, then next, uh, what iron will first produce? Okay, from iron metal during rusting. So the iron that we have. Okay, can we write like this? Okay, that is not okay. Even you write a correct equation, but my question is what iron? So you have to say uh, either iron to iron or you have to write Fe2 plus. Okay, so hopefully you can remember uh, most of the important equation for the uh, rusting of chemistry. Okay, so next, okay, that will be factors affecting, no, speeding up rusting. So we're going to look into, uh, are there any factors that can speed up the rusting? In total, there are five of them, okay? So the first one, okay, will be presence of accident pollutants. So you can see the factories, okay, we have a lot of uh, accident gas given out, for example, SO2, NOx, okay, all, all these kind of gas, okay, they will mix with the water and form acid rain. And the acidic environments, acid pollutants, they will also speed up the rusting, make it speed, uh, make it rust faster. So you can see a lot of rust right there. Or the second one will be soluble ionic compounds, okay. So for example, you can see that uh, these two pictures are nearby the seaside. So near the seaside, okay, you have some or uh, sea water, they have a lot of salt in it. So the salt that uh, we commonly say will be sodium chloride, okay, so those are soluble ionic compounds that will also facilitate the process of iron to lose electrons. It can encourage this process, so therefore the rusting process will be much faster. Okay, and then third one, okay, uh, most of the reaction, okay, if we provide high temperature, it can also speed up the reaction. So you can see that the car exhaust pipe, okay, the one that giving out um, exhaust gas, okay, that one, okay, will also rust faster. Uh, and also maybe uh, for hot water pipe, 
and also cold water pipe. Okay. You may also find that hot water pipe may rust even faster than a cold one. Okay, so number four, okay, we got scratch, bent, and sharp area. So the sharp area, the scratched area, or if the nail or it got bent, okay, so this area will also easy for it to rust. You imagine like this way, okay, for the atoms, if they pack very nice, okay, it is difficult for it to leave, okay, leave the groups, okay. If they can't leave as like Fe2 plus, Rust will less likely to form. However, if I deform, okay, like I bend it or get a sharp point, okay, sharp point, okay, so this one will be isolated. If I bend, okay, so this part will be loosely packed. So they will easy to lose, okay. So lose easy to lose as Fe2 plus. So in the process, this area will more likely to rust first, okay. So imagine if Accidentally, I scratch the surface. I scratch the surface. Okay, this area gone. So the new area, the new surface will be like this. Then maybe this area will even easier for them to rust. Okay. So last one is attached to less reactive metal. So for iron, less reactive than that. Most common one will be copper. Okay. So if they are attached to copper, or later on you learn something like tin. So when copper and tin attached to the iron, for example, this is iron nail. If I put a copper wire next to it, okay, then uh, if they attach to a less reactive metal, the less reactive metal will encourage the iron to lose electrons to it. Okay, so they will lose faster. So this concept is very easy for you to understand. For example, when you go out with your parents. Normally, the parents just go out by themselves. Maybe they don't spend too much, but when they go out with you, okay, you are less reactive one, okay. Then they have to pay for you as well, so they will lose their job much faster. So you can find that, okay, if they attach to less reactive metal, the iron will lose their job faster and they will rust faster. So in conclusion, okay, so rusting is a slow process. Iron will first lose their chance to become Fe two plus iron. And after a series of reactions, you'll find that they will form hydrated iron free oxide. That is the chemical name of the rust. Okay, of the rust. Okay, and the color of the rust. Okay, it is reddish brown. Remember, have to be reddish brown. Try not to say brown only. Okay, and the overall equation is the most important one. Okay, remember you have to memorize four, three, two, and. Two, okay, the coefficient of it. Okay, remember, okay, you have to put them, okay, in correct sequence. Otherwise, everything will be wrong. Okay, so I uh, just want to remind you these dots. Okay, it is a plus. That means the molar mass of this is Fe times two plus O times three plus. Okay, N times eighteen. Okay, remember eighteen is talking about the water. So it is a plus sign for that. And five factors that will speed up rusting include. Excess pollutants, presence of soluble ionic compound like NaCl, like the sea water. Okay, and also at high temperature, the reaction will be faster. So the surface is scratched. The um the iron nail is bent or sharp pointed area, pointed area. Those particles will also easily lose as Fe two plus iron. And also if attached to less reactive metal like copper, the rusting process will also speed up. So that's all for this video. Bye bye.